is Not A Second Time by Lennon and McCartney. Uh, it was a Beatle track from the second, uh, well, British Beatle release, uh, the With The Beatles LP. Great little song. Uh, I think it might have been this song that um, one of the uh, music critics wrote about the uh, Aeolian cadence and John said, I don't know what that means to this day. I think it sounds like a, an exotic bird or something. So there we go. Yeah, not a second time. So what I'm going to do is show you the chords, first of all. Now, we're in the original key of G major. So uh, for anybody that's really kind of uh, familiar with ukulele chords, you might just want to fast forward this bit. OK, so we're going to start off with G. So to play a G, use your first finger on the second fret, third string, second finger, second fret, first string, third finger, third fret, second string. Just like that. Now we're going to go to an E minor chord. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can either play a proper E minor chord like so. So use your first finger on the second fret, first string, second finger, third fret, second string, and third finger, fourth fret, third string. But since we're actually following from a G major chord, what you can actually do is this. Just add your fourth finger to the fourth fret third string, keeping your fingers on the G major chord like that. And you're actually making an E minor chord. So there's the G and there's the E minor. So you actually don't need to use to, um, um, release these fingers. You can just keep them where they are. Do, 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 E minor. G, do, 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 E minor. So it's, you've, you've got a choice of the two. If you want to change chord from G to E minor like so, you can do that. Or you can just add your little finger to the G chord and you've got an E minor. Next up, we've got a D major. So you're going to use your first finger on the second fret, fourth string, second finger, second fret, third string, and third finger, second fret, second string. Now we've got an A, A minor seven, lovely easy chord this, it's just open strings. We've also got a B minor. Now this is a little bit trickier now because we've got, unfortunately, we've got a couple of um, uh, bar chords in this song. So to play a B minor, you're looking at using your first finger, across the second fret and then your third finger or fourth finger, whichever you find easier. I usually find my third finger easier uh, on the fourth fret, fourth string. So that's a B minor chord. 
We've got an A minor chord, a little bit easier. Second finger, second fret, fourth string. We've also got, um, well, funnily enough, this is classed as a D7 chord, the easy D7. But in this case, within the context of this song, it's actually an A minor 6. So we're using our second finger on the second fret, fourth string, and our third finger on the second fret, second string. So you might recognise it as a D7, but in this case, it's an A minor 6. Talking of D7... Um, we've got the D7 bar chord as well. So use your first finger across the second fret and your third finger, third fret, first string. And that is it for chords. So we've got all the chords there. Now we need to have a look at a uh, strumming pattern. So what I was uh, using was actually the uh, Calypso strumming pattern. show you for anybody who doesn't know how to play the calypso strumming pattern this is how you do it first of all you just kind of flick the bottom string the g string there with your, the tip of your first finger and then you kind of press down very gently on the string so you kind of knock in the strings as you're strumming across so you get this kind of br sound br. so you do a touch br and then just a normal up, up, down, up. Like so. So touch or flick the string and then bra. Up, up, down, up. And that is called the Calypso strumming pattern. So you can do that, it works for this song, or you can just keep it simple. So just simple down strokes. Or you can kind of do down up. Down up, 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 down up. So whichever strumming pattern you want to use is absolutely fine as long as you keep that one, two, three, four rhythm. Okay, so we're going to start off. There's no introduction, so we just start off on the G. You know you made me, now to E minor, cry, back to G, I see no use in wondering, E minor, why, now to D, cry, for G, you, now to D, and then back to G, and now you've changed your, now to E minor, Mind now to G. I see no reason to change E minor. My D cry. It's then we go to the A minor seven open strings through. Then to D. Oh, oh, oh. now we go to A minor. You're giving me the B minor. Same old line. Now to G. I'm wondering, E minor, why? A minor. You heard me then. Now A minor six. You're back again. Now to B minor. No, no. D7. No, not a second. E minor. Time. Two, three, four. Stop. Two. Three, four. Now we're into the instrumental, so we go to the A minor. Do, 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 do. B minor. Do, 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 do. Now to G. Do, do, do. E minor. Do. Now to A minor. Do, 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 do. A minor six. Do, 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 do. Then to B minor. Do, do. D seven. Do. To E minor. Do. Stop. Two, three, four. Back to G. You know you made me E minor cry. G. I see no use in wondering E minor. Why? D. Cry for G. You. D. 
D, G. And now you've changed your E minor mind. G. I see no reason to change E minor mind. D. Cry. It's A minor 7 through D. Oh, oh. A minor. You're giving me the B minor. Same old line. G. I'm wondering, E minor, why? A minor, you hurt me then. A minor six, you're back again. B minor, no, no. D seven, no, not a second. E minor, time. And stop, not a second. G, time. E minor, I'm. Not a second, G, time, E minor, I'm, no, 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 G, no, no, not a second, E minor, time, back to G, I'm, so that's it. Um, don't forget, as always, I'm putting the chords and lyrics uh, to the uh, song in the description to this video. So if you want to check that out and maybe take a screenshot of it and print it out, then you can follow me at your own leisure. Talking of which, should we have a go at this together? Why not? Let's give it a go. Right. So without me calling the chords out, like I did at the beginning, I'm going to play the song in its entirety. So here we go. One, two, three, four. You know you made me cry. I see no use in wondering why. That was not a second time. And if you've got any Beatles songs or any song for that matter that you'd like me to teach you, just leave me a message in the comment section and I'll get back to you with a tutorial as quick as possible. Take care for now.